So I have a question from a student, Vanshika Walia, and the question says, what is actually meant by a point-sized object? Is it the object that contains a single atom? Is it visible? So that is the question. What is the point-sized object? So as such, there is nothing like uh, point-sized particles or point particles or point-like particles. Whenever we use this term, it has to be in some context, in some situation. And that situation will involve certain distances in it. For example, you come across these point objects or point-like particles in, uh, let's say, electrostatics, where you say point charges or masses, point masses, like that. But then there is always some context. For example, you may be interested in finding the force exerted by one charged particle on the other charged particle placed at a separation. How much is that separation? 10 centimeters, 1 centimeter, 5 millimeters, 1 millimeters or uh, 20 centimeters. You always will have such kind of distances involved. Suppose you say that there are three point particles sitting at the corners of an equilateral triangle. Okay, so that equilateral triangle will have some size. So that uh, is a kind of length involved in this situation. Right? So whenever you come across a situation in which there are distances involved, and the size of the particle is very small as compared to those distances. Then we call that particle or we take that particle as point size particle or point particle or point like particle. For example, when we talk of sun and earth, let us say sun and earth, for many applications where great accuracies are not needed, we treat the whole earth as a point particle. Okay? <laughs> we can treat the whole earth as a point particle because the distance involved in this situation is between sun and earth, which is very, 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 very large as compared to the radius of the earth. So, depending on the situation, we, we talk of point particles or point-like particles.